my name is Elizabeth Curtis. I'm here at the Click Lewis Arena, and I'm here to talk to you about backwards crossovers. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do backwards pumps. And pumps are used to do back crossovers. So this is the beginning stages of back crossovers. So what I'd like you to do is go ahead and spread out on the circle. And go ahead and start doing your pumps. When you do back pumps, what you want to do, if you're going in this direction, is you want to keep your right foot still and your left foot pumping. Now, the pumping foot should go in front of the other foot. You can see how Jack here is pumping and his foot it stays in front of him. His body is very still, his stick is on the ice, and he's got just the left foot pushing. That's exactly what you want when you do a pump. What you want to avoid when you're doing the back pumps is your body moving. So you want to keep your body very still and then keep pushing with your foot in front of you. Stand up a little bit straighter there, Jack. There you go. Good, Darby. Keep that foot pumping and keep your weight over your right foot. So shift there. That's better. That's better. So the next skill we're going to do is we're going to do back crossovers. And to start back crossovers, we're going to do the back cross and holds. Now, these are a little tricky because what you want to do is you want to cross that foot, keep both feet on the ice, and hold that position. And then you're going to take out that back foot. When you're crossing over in this direction, you want to make sure that your left foot stays on the ice to take the crossover. And then you're going to only pick up the right foot. So the left foot stays on the ice, cross it over, pick up the back foot. Go ahead. So go ahead and cross and hold. Nice, nice. Good. Good, good, good. And go ahead and get a little bit more speed, because if you're going too slow, it's going to be really, really tough to hold that cross. So ready? Everybody cross and hold. Woo! There you go. And if you don't fall on these, then you're not working hard enough. So when you first start these, you pretty much always fall. Luckily, falling in hockey usually doesn't hurt too bad because you've got lots of pads on. After the cross and holds, you're going to keep going and go ahead and do back crossovers. So everybody start your back crossovers. Keep your left foot on the ice, left foot on the ice as you take the cross, and then keep up, keep the crossovers going. Push and cross, push and cross. Try to keep your stick in control. Pump and cross, you gotta push. Pump and cross. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do back cross unders. Back cross unders should be done after you've done crossovers for a little while and they're pretty good. Back cross unders actually double your speed going backwards because you have two pushes in the back crossover. So you do the first push, which is the pump, which you've been working on, and then after you cross that foot, you do another push with the under. So what you're gonna do for the exercise is this, is you're going to cross that foot over in front and then you're going to push with the underfoot. You're gonna hear a, a crunchy pushing sound. Push. Feet together and push. All right, so let's go ahead and try that. Get some speed going backwards first. And then go ahead and take the crossover and then push with the underfoot. The back foot is going to come off the ice. Go ahead and spread out a little bit. You guys are a little close. Woo. And go ahead and take that crossover and then push with the underfoot. That was a better one. Push, very good. When you're taking the push with the underfoot, the foot is gonna go directly to the side. It's gonna go to the side of your skating. You also want to make sure that your hips stay going backwards. So that is back crossovers. You want to start back crossovers by doing backwards cross and holds, and then you want to do the back crossovers, and then when you're pretty good at those, go ahead and start the back cross unders. Good luck with those. Those are tough. And that's how you do back crossovers.